Hi, hello everyone. Welcome again to a new video. So as part of today's video, I'm going to share how we can create a dashboard in Jira. So there may, may be uh, multiple needs when we are using Jira as a project management tool and we want to reflect on uh, one single page we can which can bring in some insights to the work that we are doing as a team so that could be handy uh, by you know uh, if we can create a dashboard and if we utilize that one so that will be the topic for today's video how to configure a dashboard how to create a dashboard how to add different useful widgets as per our needs in the dashboard so let us start so I'm sharing a Jira Cloud instance, and we can see that there are multiple projects which have been created uh, in the same instance. So for today's video on Jira dashboard, we will utilize the Kanban metrics. So if I click on this particular project, it will open. And uh, this project has been used in the past, uh, some of the videos that I have created. And we can see uh, the Kanban board for this project looks like we have a backlog, we have selected for development, we have in progress, QA, and then done. So this is how the Kanban flow is. And this particular project is using a Kanban template. So how we can create a dashboard. So very first thing is where uh, do we have the dashboard listed? So if we look at the left navigation, this, this is the one and uh, we can see this is the dashboard so here is the plus sign we can say create dashboard so what we will do is we will say uh Jira dashboard demo and we will keep the remaining things as it is so if i click on save so this is what our jira dashboard is and uh, on the right side, we can see you know, there are different gadgets which are available, which we can utilize for our needs. So we will see you know, what all we can try as part of this video. Uh, but before that, what I will do is I will just close this uh, lap navigation so that you know, we get a fuller screen. And now if I click on the charts one, so there are different charts which are available. Maybe we can utilize first by a simple pie chart. So if I add this one, it will get added to the dashboard and uh, it says please select your project or filter so what i'm going to do is uh, our project name is kanban metrics so i will select this one and i will keep the other options as it is so if i save this one so this will give me the i can close this gadget i can say done so this is how it is showing me it is showing me for this particular kanban metrics project we have uh, 44 as total issues of which uh, 27 has been assigned to this member 11 has been assigned to anil four has been assigned to creative learning two have been assigned to rajiv tyagi so uh, and what we can do is uh, we can also click on this one i mean if i okay so just a minute i think if it is rajiv okay so yeah here it is showing okay for this one we can open it in the new uh we can open in a new tab and we can see the issue navigator so now it is showing us like these are the two issues which are assigned to this guy rajiv right and uh, similarly if you want to look at you know uh what has been assigned to let's say creative learning so we can just see where is the creative learning so this is our creative learning so if i click on uh, this one and say open the open the issue navigator in a new tab. So now it is showing us uh, these are the four issues which are assigned to creative learning. So this was the first example of using the pie chart. And uh, let's say we want to again add it and we want to add uh, another pie chart. And this time, so I would say add and uh, we can drag it we can bring it here now how we will configure so we will give it a project name so we will say our project is this is the one that we have to consider as part of uh, the pie chart configuration and this time uh, this time instead of assignee we will say okay select based on the issue type or uh, uh, maybe uh, not on the issue type but based on the status so if i click on save so this is what it has done now it has given us two pie charts one is like uh, what all 
different issues have been assigned to different members and uh, what is the status of these issues uh, of all these issues in our project so we have eight turn we have 20 in backlog we have eight in selected for development we have five in progress and we have three in qa and uh, uh, so this is the one and apart from that let's try to again click on edit and uh, So now another thing that we can try is uh, let's try to search for calendar if we have the calendar gadget. So this is the one. So we will add it. And uh, if I close this one. So again, we will say what is the name of the project? We will say this is our project and uh, date to display is a due date, which is perfectly fine. We will click on save. Uh, but before that, uh, what we will do is we can also drag this one so we can say, you know, bring this one a bit up. OK, so we have two pie charts aligned and then we have this calendar. So what's the usage of this calendar? So this is what we have done as part of the calendar. We added the calendar gadget and if you look at this configuration, so we specified the name of the project, which is Kanban metrics, and we are saying due date and number of issues which are listing is 10 per calendar. Uh, it could be 25 as well because it's going to display in the calendar. So if I click on save invalid number of issues icon must be a number between one and 20. So that's fine. We will click on 20. So basically it is telling, okay, for July, we have uh, one issue is due by 15th, one issue is due by on 11th, one issue is due on 17th. And we can, uh, you know, try this one. I mean, if I open a Jira in a new tab, and uh, if I open the Kanban metrics, and this is our board, and let's say for this one, uh, we just want to specify the due date. And let's say the due date for this one is, Okay, we are selecting one of the date and we are saying, let's say the month end, which is the very first Monday 28th, that's the due date. And now if you go back to the calendar and if we refresh this one, so we will see uh, how our calendar looks like. So now we can see on the, okay, it hasn't given it yet. Let me just see whether, okay. Okay, so the due date has come here due on 28th, but here it hasn't come. Maybe what we will have to do is we will have to refresh this one. Uh, refresh interval, it says never, uh, but we are saying refresh every 15 minutes. So if I click on save, so now we have got, so for one issue, which is due on 28th of July, so we can see. So the good thing about this calendar is, let's say we want to track, okay, what are the important milestones which are there in one of the month? So we can have a collective view of uh, this particular calendar and we can see, okay, what all issues are due, let's say on the Friday or on, uh, on the 31st of uh, this one. So we can click on this one and we can see, okay, what is due on 31st? So if I open this one, so this gives us a, a very different view. So some of, some of the teams you know they utilize on this one. Another thing that we can try is uh, if I click on the add gadget and we say issue statistics. So this is the one. So we have added and uh, again, I'm saying it's the project name, which is Kanban metrics. And uh, I would say, yes, update every 15 minutes. And if I click on save, so basically, it is giving me the account and uh, the percentage of the work which is uh, assigned, the number of issues assigned. So out of total 36, we have 75% of the issue assigned to this guy. We have 11% of issue assigned to this guy. So uh, this is like another view. And again, we can drag it. We can say, okay, bring the pie chart to the top. And uh, other thing that we can do is if I click on done, and uh, we can, if I click on this edit, so we 
have the option of changing the layout. So currently it is using this one, which is our two columns. We can say make it three columns and uh, I can say done. So now uh, what we can do is we can bring the issue matrix to here. We can click on edit and we can say just drag this thing to not here. I think let's do one thing we will. I'm trying to drag it. Okay. Yes, so now it worked. So this is how we have. So we have three columns approach and uh, we can close this one. We can say done. And another thing that we can try is uh, uh, if I click on edit and I say query or maybe a uh, filter. Okay, so it says like filter result. So I will simply add this one. And uh, okay, so I already have a filter created which says, okay, what are the stories where we do not have a description? So if I click on no description stories, if I select this one and uh, I say, okay, and I do not want, I want like issue type, key, summary, maybe summary I want like uh, in the first and I do not want the priority. So we can simply say save. Okay, and uh, I will show you guys how is that filter looks like. So if I click on all work and I can bring in, this is my filters from the left navigation and this is the no description status. So this is my query uh, where we are saying, okay, for this particular project, Kanban metrics where the issue type is a story and description is empty. So these are the different stories where description is empty. So currently it is showing 17 of them. And this is what we want to track as part of our backlog health in the dashboard. So it is giving us, okay, these are the 10 ones. So now again, we will simply do a bit of edit so that we please this one in the right one. So what we will do is uh, okay. So this is what we have done and uh, we will also bring the calendar one. And uh, this filter issue right here. not able to just admit okay what i want is i want to drag this one here let's see if it helps me okay now i have got this one so yes okay so these are the issues where i see that you know the description is not not there we have 17 of them and uh, we can try it out i mean if i click on this one and i open it in a new tab so this 21, it doesn't have a description, but if I add something like test and save it. So now I have added a description to it. And now if I click, uh, if I refresh this one, so let's see. So now it is showing we have 16 such stories in our project where description is empty. So this is again one of the idea about this one. And let's try to add this. Uh, filter again. So if I say filter and uh, I'm going to bring this one here so that it do not disturb the other placements. So we have the filter results for no description. Now I have a similar filter created for no story points. 
and I do not want to show the priority. I want summary as a next the second information and I want it to be updated every 15 minutes. So if I click on save, so now it is showing us the list of issues where we do not have the story points mentioned. And I, I can show you guys how this query looks like. So this is my query. So it says like, you know, uh, give me the list of stories which belongs to this project and where story points is empty. So we are getting all this list. It's almost like 27. And uh, this is the list which is appearing here. And we can try it out as well. If I open this Kanban 40 in a new column, uh, in a new tab, sorry. And uh, I try to enter the story points. Let's say this is my five story point. Now this has been uh, saved. So now this Kanban mat matrix 40, uh, this as a story point and now what we are listing is we are listing as part of our backlog health uh, what are the work items or the stories where we do not have the story points mentioned if i refresh this one so it will not be 27 it will be 26 so if i click on this one so this is showing me the 26 okay so these are some of the basic widgets that we can add and uh, we can also rename this one so we can say uh, pie chart based on assignee. Okay, and here we can say pie chart for work item status. We are saving this one. Similarly, our calendar, we can say uh, this is issue calendar based on due dates. Okay, and uh, again, this one as well, it is part of our backlog health. No description, so we can save this one. Similarly, this one is also part of our backlog health. We are saying no story points. Okay. So uh, this was a simple example of you know how we can create our dashboard. So we created a dashboard, we named it as a dashboard demo. We added a couple of pie charts here, one which is uh, tells us you know, what all issues in our project is assigned to which team member. We also added another pie chart which tells us okay, what all uh, work items in our project are in different status. We also added one issue statistics, which says, okay, assignee and how many percentage of the work is assigned to which member. And then we added a couple of uh, widgets uh, for based on the queries, the filter results where uh, we are checking the backlog health. So what are the stories in our project where we do not have added description? What are the stories in our project where we do not have added any story points? And uh, we also added a calendar which tells us in a monthly basis uh, uh, if there are any important due dates for a particular issues. So we can quickly have a glance, look at the calendar and we can identify, okay, for this particular date, like 28th, we have one issue which is due, 31st, we have one issue due and where we are on those issues. So uh, this was kind of a very first part of this Jira dashboard. I hope you guys liked it. And if you are new to my channel, please do share and subscribe. Thank you.